Love is not a weakness. Love is the most powerful thing on, on the face of this earth. Oh, we're close. I'm glad you stayed with me. Amen. We are just so close. Verse 16, we have known and believed the love. Oh, there you are. That God hath to us. God is love. And he that dwells in love dwells in God and God in him. Herein is our love perfected that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfected love casteth out fear because fear hath torment. He that fears is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. Come down in the fifth chapter. Whosoever believeth Jesus is the Christ is born of love. And everyone that loveth him that begat loveth him also that's begotten of him. If you love the father, you love his kids. Amen. 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 It don't make no difference to me how you act. I love you just the way God loves you. I love you because I'm commanded to love you. But there's more to it than that. I love you because I want to love you. And I love you by faith. Some of you take some faith to love you. <laughs> nah, not much. Not much. When I get myself off my hands, amen. I don't pay no attention to what, what you, the way you act and what you call me and all that. And, and, you know, I'm not in any denomination you can kick me out of. The only denomination in, I'm in is one I started, so you can't get me out of that one. <laughs> See, that's the way you keep them getting kicked out of your denomination. You start one yourself, and then the board can't do nothing about it. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I, I, can, I can truthfully say to anyone I write a letter to, I am in good standing with the denomination in which I am a part. Because <laughs> I started it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who are you laughing at? The devil. <laughs> Glory to God forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. There is no fear in love. Perfected love casts out fear. Chapter 5. For this is the love of God. This is loving God that we keep his commandments. His commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Now God is love. Whatsoever is born of love overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Jump down to the 18th verse. We know whosoever is born of love sinneth not. How can we know that? Because he said in the first two chapters, when we do sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins when we confess them. Oh, there's a big fuss going on right now. Oh, about whether or not Christians are supposed to ask for forgiveness or just confess the sin. Or, oh, this comes up about every 18 years. I've heard it at least twice. <laughs> And it's just as much bull now as it was then. Because all you got to do is just go read what the book says. That he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins when we confess them and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. For he is the perpetuation for our sins and not ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. I'll just stick with that one. Thank you very much. Amen. And you're walking in love and you just foul up. Just stop right where you are. I don't care if you're in the middle of the street or standing there talking to somebody. Say, excuse me, sir, just a minute. I, I need to pray. Just, Father, I repent. I just lied to him. I told him this, and it wasn't this. It was that. And I repent of it, and I repent to you too. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, let me straighten this out. It wasn't a thousand times. It was three times. <laughs> and I apologize to you for... Uh, just stand here and lie to your face. But thank God.